What are you going to read me today, Big Daddy? A little lesson in bravery, Junior. I don't need a lesson in bravery, Pop. You want to know why? Uh, why? Well, because I sit here and listen to these fables of yours. And if that isn't bravery... No, 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 Junior, you know. You're confusing bravery with stupidity. Well, I was only kidding, Pop. Actually, you know, I rather enjoy your painting with words, the simple chronicles. Or should I say the necrology... Necro oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. The things they teach kids in these progressive schools. <laughs> well, anyway, my boy, once upon a time... Once upon a time? Oh, come on, Pop. There lived a family of rabbits. We're not really rabbits. We're hares. Because on account of the name of this fable is the hare and the... Hey, why did you do that? Because you would have given away the whole point to this story. Well, now, this particular family of rabbits was scared of practically everything. Boo! Yo! <laughs> oh, they were even scared of themselves. I can't stand living with these scared rabbits. I'm going out into the world and become brave. But how? I'll tell you how. Just stay with me, boy. I'll tell you. You got to build yourself a rep. You know, like on TV, you got to be... Top critter. Top critter? Me? A rabbit? Top critter? <laughs> top critter? You rabbits are scared of your own shadows. You couldn't be top anything. Well, uh, that's a start. The winner! You know what this means, naturally? Nope. You are now top critter. Yep. And that means that every punk kid out to make a reputation will be looking for you to have a showdown. Yep. That is, really, I mean, really, I'm not basically mean, you know. Uh, Every low-down, nasty, downright loathsome critter will be gunning for you. Actually, I'm rather sweet, you know. <laughs> That's it, I'm lovable. What you need is a gimmick. A gimmick? Where do I find this mealy-mouthed, low-down animal claiming to be top critter? Nobody around here answering that description. Just Mr. Frog and little old rabbit-hearted me. You better take off Bear Skedaddle. While old top critter here is in such a felicitous mood. So you're a top critter, eh? Well, uh, no, that, that is, yes, I mean, I'm, I'm, the, I'm a critter, all right, whether top or not. <laughs> well, it's also relative, isn't it? And I mean, right about now, I feel like the lowest limit. <laughs> a rabbit is top critter. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is a funny one, isn't it? He's a better critter than you are, Bear. And you want to know why? Because I'll tell you. Because he's got a gimmick. Rabbit, give him the ears bit. The ears bit? I know you rabbits can wiggle your ears clockwise and counterclockwise. We'll wiggle them and look mean. <laughs> oh, I give up. You're top critter, all right. Anyone with a gimmick like that must be top critter. Now, what was all that about? Because critters are always afraid of gimmicks. All Western top guns on TV have got to have a gimmick. Bat Masterson has his cane, the rifleman has his rifle, and you've... Got your ears. You mean my gimmick is ears? All you got to do is wiggle them, and the critters will back down. You are sitting in my chair, partner. Nobody sits in that chair but me, partner. That's my chair. Well, find another chair. But don't wiggle him, Top Critter. I'm leaving. So Rabbit was no longer the frightened, cringing critter he once was. As long as he could wiggle his ears, he enjoyed his role of Top Critter. Uh, that is, until... Uh, top Critter, there's a critter sitting in your favorite chair. Well, lead me to him, Frog. I'll ear him down. Just lead me to him. Uh, top Critter, sir. I'll, I'll mow him down is what I'll do. There, there, there's something you should know. Now, where's the critter that's sitting in my chair, pardon... Oops! That's what I was trying to tell you. He's got a gimmick. And so Mr. Rabbit was no longer top critter, because at last he had come up against a critter who had a stronger gimmick than he had. He returned to the Rabbit family, although he was never quite as frightened as he had been. Which is the moral of this story? Well, Junior, do you know what it is? Sure. Critters may come and critters may go, but gimmicks go on forever. Gimmicks go on? Oh, my. I couldn't have put it better myself, Junior. Eeny, meeny, chilly beeny, the spirits are about to speak. Are they friendly spirits? Friendly? Just listen. <laughs> <laughs>